Fox 45 News continues to follow breaking news out of Baltimore County. School Superintendent Dr. Darrell Williams announcing he will not seek a new contract. Dr. Williams will leave at the end of June, leaving the school system the 24th largest in the country without a leader. The announcement comes after three years of controversy surrounding the school system and the end of a dramatic day that started with the Randallstown chapter of the NAACP calling for his resignation. Fox 45's Rebecca Pryor takes a look at how we got here. Yeah, today, not one, not two, but three Baltimore County school advocate groups calling on the school board to replace Williams. But just hours later, Williams calling it quits all on his own. After a four year run and a laundry list of controversies, Baltimore County School Superintendent Darrell Williams is on his way out. In a statement sent out Monday evening, Williams writing apart, quote, there is more work to be done, but I believe that BCPS is well poised to make progress toward eliminating disparities in academic achievement and will advance equity and excellence for all students. No official reason is given for his departure, although the announcement comes just hours after multiple groups demanded the school board replace him. In letters penned by the Baltimore County Parent and Student Coalition, a former BCPS principal, and the Randallstown chapter of the NAACP, all critiqued Williams' ability to create real change. We, we've tried to be patient, but we just have not seen the progress. NAACP President Ryan Coleman citing ongoing discipline issues and drops in student achievement. We're having schools where, you know, 90% of the children can't read, can't do basic math. Um, what's their, you know, what's their future going to be like? And this is far from the first time Williams leadership has been called into question. It's many issues and it keeps growing and growing and growing and nothing gets resolved. Last June, five members of the Baltimore County Council demanding the school board reconsider Williams' position, their letter also pointing to low grades, student behavior and poor communication. We need to have take a look to see if there's somebody in the country that can come in and turn our school system around. As for who that person will be now, Coleman believes the school board needs to take its time searching far and wide. And so with the end to William's current contract just around the corner, he's suggesting an interim superintendent step in for the time being. We just know that uh, the school systems who do a national search, who do it for about a year, you know, really get a very good candidate. Williams' current contract expires on June 30th. In Baltimore, Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News. County Executive John Elshevsky issued a statement thanking Williams for his service, writing, quote, in the years ahead, we look forward to continuing building a collaborative relationship with BCPS leadership so that we can tackle our shared challenges and provide a world-class education. Baltimore County Schools, Dr. Darrell Williams is seeing the learning loss that schools nationwide have seen. Last week, Project Baltimore reported 32% of students earned a grade of D or lower in math for the first marking period. Last school year, 30% earned a grade of D or lower in the first quarter. Now, the scores for English language arts, ELA as people often call it or know it, uh, are dropping. About 30% of high schoolers earned a D or lower in English in the first quarter. Last school year, that number was 28%. And Project Baltimore revealing a number of problems more unique to Baltimore County schools as well. In early 2020, Project Baltimore found a registered sex offender, Santino Sudano, was enrolled at Parkville High School. Not long after that, the school system settled a lawsuit with an ex-employee claiming she was asked to cover up the shredding of documents during a 2018 financial audit. That lawsuit was filed months after Project Baltimore exposed county schools shredded thousands of documents during that audit. And just last year, Project Baltimore found nearly 150 county school buses with broken parts passed inspection and were carrying students. We tried to get answers about it for months, but school officials refused to explain why mechanics were signing off on repairs that were never made. And we've also seen a number of violent fights at Baltimore County Schools, both last year and this school year. Earlier this month, police say one student stabbed another at Lansdowne High School. That suspect now charged with attempted murder. Despite all of those problems, Dr. Williams refused to sit down with Project Baltimore. In three and a half years as superintendent, the only interview granted to Project Baltimore was on his first day in the job in 2019. At that time, he promised to be transparent. 
weekend as far as the media is concerned, you will make yourself available. I will make myself available. I'll make sure our, our cabinet members, if I'm not, that uh, we have a spokesperson on behalf of the superintendent. I've watched that over the years um, from my previous district where um, there was a sense of transparency and allowing the district to respond based on what we know. You can find all of Project Baltimore's past reporting on Dr. Williams and the problems in some Baltimore County schools on our website. Head to foxbaltimore.com slash Project Baltimore. And you're invited to join the Crisis in the Classroom Town Hall on January 30th from 7 to 8. Armstrong Williams leads a panel discussion on the relationship between high school graduation and crime rates. It will also explore the relationship between educational attainment and the likelihood of incarceration. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.